Hi, I'm Naya. I'm from Scott. I like your work! You go! And this is my poem called Forbidden Keys. The piano keys feel cold against my fingertips. I'm not unaccustomed to this feeling. Smooth and unforgiving, but comforting. The feeling is so cruelly familiar, it burns. I resent it. The melody I play is familiar. The keys themselves seem tired of playing the limited selection of songs. Bittersweet to play, the emotions of many blurring into a distant symphony. The suffocating pride of those watching, believing they are the reason behind the keys moving, believing they are the very cultivators of my success, my gift. My fingers move in rhythm. I'm being consumed by an abyss of absent thoughts. Playing Beethoven is a cruel, penalizing task. Fur release binds my wrists to cuffs, restricting any freedom, clasping my hands to keys like a puppet to strings. Little to no movement, no choice, no control. I wish I could play the tune my heart aches to share. The joy of being heard, it captivates me. The melody begins to speed up. It's funny, almost condescending how something that takes so much talent is so often played. Are any of us special? The audience is mainly other students waiting to play the song chosen for them. Is there any meaning to showcasing something everyone here can do? Who is the audience we play for? For a moment, the memory of the song evades me. Panic ensues when the new song I play is unexpected. How could I? It is out of parameters. I will ruin the piece. Strangely, my fingers don't burn. The untouched keys are cool, not cold, inviting, familiar but thrilling, a new adventure with each measure. It doesn't ache to play this new, wonderful melody. It feels right. I feel right. Pouring my soul over the keys like melted chocolate on a cake, vulnerability melts from my essence and infuses itself to the keys, leaching away all that I am for observers who judge me regardless of what humanity has taken from me. I put myself up into the limelight and pray for kind judgment. I feel like a dog at a show, on display for an audience who pretend to know what makes a dog a dog. In reality, they're holding the dog to the standards of a cat. And when I cannot land on my feet, I am shamed for something I cannot do. The melody trails off, reminding me where I am. The original song slows and comes to a close. It once again burns. Perhaps there's a reason for that. For a moment, I truly thought I saw others enjoy the melody of my soul, only to be reminded of each other and their own standards. Now they simply frowned. After I stand and bow, I leave. There is no room for me in my melody.